Welcome to In the Kitchen with Ashley Marie. I hope you guys enjoy cheesecake because that's what I have for you guys today. All the tips and tricks that I have so that your cheesecake won't crack, won't overcook, and will come out perfect along with my very favorite recipe. All right, let's start with the crust. You can pretty much use anything you want for a graham cracker crust. Obviously, graham crackers, which is what we're using today. But I also like to use vanilla wafers or uh, flavored graham crackers. Uh, I really enjoy crushing ginger snaps and adding those as well, and even some ground nuts. Now, you want about a cup and a quarter of crumbs, which happens to be about the size of a pack of graham crackers. Now, you can go ahead and use your um, food processor and really chop these up fine, but I find that rather than get something else dirty, just using a Ziploc bag and a rolling pin work great. Uh, now we're ready to add the sugar. And again, I just keep it in the bag. It keeps me from getting another bowl dirty and um, super easy. So now we want some melted butter. So I'm just gonna pour it right in here. Now I like to use freezer bags because they're a little bit sturdier and they don't really have a problem with the hot melted butter melting through them or anything like that. Close this up so I don't make a mess. And this is a great one to let your kids help with. I don't know about you, but mine love helping me in the kitchen. All right, you wanna get that nice and crumbly and meaty. All right, and grab a 10 inch springform pan. Now the reason that you want a springform pan is because you can open it up and pop your cake out without having to try to scrape the sides or, um, or basically ruining your cheesecake trying to get it out. I'm gonna just pour our crust down in there. And I like to get every last piece I can out of the bag, so. I love crust. All right, now comes the messy part. Make sure you've washed your hands. I kind of first go through and just try to make sure it's even before I press too hard. Now what we don't want is for this to be too loose because then as you cut slices and take them out, the crust will just fall apart. All right, our oven is preheated and we're ready to put our crust in. Our crust is done, so we're gonna pull it out of the oven. Now we wanna bring our temperature down to 300 and because my, this oven runs a little hot, I'm actually gonna bring it down a little bit lower for me. Do whatever you need to do to get your oven to 300. We want our oven really moist. And so I'm gonna take a big pan of water. And in this case, I'm using a big, huge cake pan because that's what I have. So we have our temperature down to what will hopefully be 300 degrees. We have our uh, water on the bottom rack and we have our crust cooling. Now it's time to make our cheesecake. This is a really easy cheesecake recipe and it's the best. Uh, it's just four ingredients. Cream cheese, sugar, vanilla, and eggs. One of my biggest tips for not getting cracks in your cheesecake is uh, to make sure everything is at room temperature. Now you can tell already, because this cream cheese was already softened, it's nice and smooth. Uh, it took barely any work at all. So we're gonna go in and add the sugar. And what we wanna do now is beat it and the vanilla. And we wanna beat it until the sugar is completely incorporated. There's no chunks and it has this great velvety feel to it. Now, we're ready to scrape down the sides and mix it again. Or, I love this new tool that just fits right over that. And it scrapes the sides down as you go. 
So you can see just how smooth this is. It's just perfection. And uh, it really smells good already. Uh, anyway, now our very last ingredient is the eggs. Uh, I learned this tip actually from Martha Stewart and uh, I've, I swear by it. Uh, you can beat the cream cheese and the sugar and the vanilla and any of your other ingredients as much as you want. But once you add the eggs, barely mix it in. All of those eggs being beat in are actually one of the number one causes for cracks in your cheesecake. So you wanna be a little bit delicate with this. Since I just wanna get all those nasty strands of the egg whites um, kind of broken up, I'm just making sure to go nice and slow and smooth so that I'm not whipping a lot of air into these eggs. All right, it looks pretty smooth to me. Still a little stringy, but not too bad. Splash guard. Now, we don't want to take away all of the goodness that we just did by whipping those together so slowly. So we just want to barely incorporate this eggs into this mixture. As soon as it's incorporated, stop. All right. So as you can see, this is nice and thick and creamy, and we're just gonna pour that right into our crust. Now, one of the things you wanna be aware of when you're pouring this into the crust is our crust is still pretty delicate, so if you just plop it all in one spot and then smooth it around, you might break up your crust a little bit. So as I blop it in, <laughs> glop it in, I'm not quite sure the best way to say that, into the pan, I kind of make sure that I'm glopping it kind of evenly. Go ahead and smooth it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're actually gonna end up covering this with a nice sour cream topping as well. You just mostly want the top even. It's in the oven, we're gonna leave it, and we are not gonna check it for just over an hour, probably an hour and a quarter. Um, it can take a little bit longer, but if you're constantly opening up the oven, then you're getting rid of that really nice, moist, warm, even temperature environment, and we don't wanna do that. So try not to open the oven until you're pretty sure yours is ready. We have just a few minutes left, so I'm gonna get the sour cream topping ready to go. We have sour cream, sugar, and vanilla. The first time around, go at it just a little slowly so it's all, so you're not getting splashes everywhere. But then after that, go for it. Our timer went off and it's time to check our cheesecake. So what I just do is give it a little jiggle and you see how that center is still jiggly? It's ready. So we're gonna pull it out and add the sour cream topping and then put it back in the oven for five more minutes. Now, we don't want to plop this in one big plop and have it weigh down that still jiggly section of our cheesecake. So you wanna be careful as you add this. Now it's nice and warm, which is gonna help with the spreadability of this. Now notice I didn't use the whole thing. It's kind of up to you. But I do try to spread it pretty smooth. And it's time to go back in the oven. All right, five more minutes. So this is my last tip when it comes to cheesecake. Instead of pulling it out and sitting on the counter, open it up a crack and let it naturally cool on its own. So our cheesecake's out of the oven. It's cooled down to room temperature. It sat in the fridge for over a day and look how beautiful it is. I'm so happy with how it turned out. So now we're going to uh, take off the sides to unmold it. So just very slowly take that off kind of pop away from your cheesecake. Kind of let the pan do the work for you. If, um, if you're really paranoid about it, you can run a knife around it, but I find that it's kind of six of one, half a dozen of another. 
Sometimes when I run a knife around it, I end up making a bigger mess than if I just let the pan kind of pull some away on its own. So it's totally up to you. So I find the easiest way to do this is to take the bottom and very carefully go up. And then set the ring aside. And look how beautiful. It is gorgeous. It's not too dark. It has a little bit of golden color around the edge. The sour cream topping looks amazing. Now this is the real test, right? You can tell it's not jiggling at all like it was when we first pulled it out, so it's settled a lot. Um, <laughs> Make sure when you cut it, you go all the way through the crust. Now, I don't know about your cheesecake pan, but mine has a little bit of a lip around the side. So once I get that cut to the center, I'm just gonna bring that point all the way to the edge. All right, now to make the next cut, I like to clean off my knife. And I just keep some paper towels or something handy so that I can just keep cutting without making a huge mess along the top. Out. Now the worst part of any cake, cheesecake or not, is getting that first slice out. There we go. All right. Look how beautiful. Let's try some before we share. Mm. It's perfect. That slour cream topping gives it just a little bit of that tangy tartness, but the cream cheese itself being so just simple with those four ingredients is uh, just to die for. It's creamy, it's smooth, really cheesy, which is what I like. All right, that recipe turned out perfect, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I do. I hope you guys go ahead and make it. Don't forget to click below to my website to get a printable recipe, and also uh, all of those tips and tricks that I talked about in the video print it out for you. Uh, also, I would love to hear in your comments what else you guys would like to see, what recipes of mine that I have done or haven't done you'd be interested in. Also, of course, cake design, any cake that you'd be interested in seeing a tutorial for. Um, don't forget to subscribe. This is a brand new channel and I have so many plans for this year and I don't want you guys to miss any of it. Anyway, I'm going to finish eating. Thanks for watching.